Hello and welcome to Midweek. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, the Department of Defense furlough is underway and we have some office closures to announce. We also have a construction update from the exchange, plus the 60th anniversary of the Korean War armistice is coming up in Washington. These stories and more are on Midweek. But first, DOD employee furloughs are affecting garrison services. Here's a brief survey. The Fort Meade Visitor Center, located at Maryland 175 and Reese Road, will be closed Fridays through the end of the fiscal year. Friday closures also include the Installation Safety Office and the Army Education Center. The Housing Division is closed, but the Corvius offices, formerly known as PCERN, are unaffected. The Visual Information Branch, the folks that take official photos, closed Fridays. Other Friday closures include the Training Support Center in Building 2220 and the Installation Museum. The Garrison Range will also have limited manpower on Mondays and Fridays. They suggest you call ahead for assistance. Also closed Fridays, the Equal Employment Opportunity Office. Finally, the ACAP or Army Career and Alumni Office wants you to know that they will remain open Monday through Friday. For the latest news on furlough closures and sequestration, just go to our homepage at www.fteme.army.mil. In other furlough news, the ID card section has issued an update. These changes include active duty and uniform without family members have priority from 7.30 to 9 a.m. While there is still limited walk-in service, the ID card section encourages everyone to use the appointment system. They have 50 available every day. Just go to rapidsappointments.dmdc.osd.mil. Meanwhile, construction continues apace here on Fort Meade. Today we have an update from the exchange. The Meade 32 Gates New Express Store or Shopette has completed phase one of its construction. The estimated timeline for completion is late fall, early winter. Originally plans called for a drive through Burger King, but according to the exchange, the drive through vendor will be an Arby's instead. Meanwhile, the bigger exchange shopping center project is moving along as well. Much of the bulk steel structure has been erected. This month, contractors will continue to work on roofing, exterior walls, and skylights. The exchange mall is expected to be completed in 2014. Stay tuned to MeWeek for further details. In other news, the garrison announced changes to the off-limits areas and establishments list this week. These include the Exxon gas station on Ridge Road, the Exxon gas station at 1318 Annapolis Road, around-the-clock locksmith of Pasadena, Maryland, and the tobacco stop in the Laurel Corridor Marketplace. The following establishments have been removed from the off-limits list. They include Mead Village in Severn, Orwell Court also in Severn, Maryland, and the Little Falls area on the Potomac River in Washington, D.C. and Virginia. In other news, the Department of Defense has set up a website commemorating the 60th anniversary of the Armistice of the Korean War. The celebration is coming up July 27th in Washington, D.C. Hello, and welcome to the Department of Defense 60th Anniversary of the Korean War Commemoration Committee's website. The website has oral histories from Korean War veterans, photographs, news stories about commemorative events held across the nation to honor Korean War veterans, Korean War history, and other information. It was designed to help educate everyone about the Korean War and the brave individuals who fought in the conflict. Although the Korean War lasted only three years, more than 33,000 Americans lost their lives during what was then called a police action to avoid the politics and public outcry of a declared war. The Korean War was a very costly war in terms of combatant and civilian casualties on both sides. More than two million people, mostly civilians, lost their lives. We encourage you to use this website to learn more about the Korean War, the veterans who fought in the war, and to develop a greater appreciation for our service members who helped to lay the foundation for the Republic of Korea to become one of the largest economies in the free world and a staunch U.S. ally. And that's me week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Me TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead week.